Yeah, Beano Black here, folks, and basically, <coughs> you might piss or hit your pants. Well, I don't know. But anyway, you can take a look at this huge. Now, the one thing that I could almost do right here is force NASA to almost basically agree and say that my, in your known knowledge of me showing you that basically there is no such thing as an inner camera flare. Okay, that's a bunch of horse hockey. <laughs> now, tons of people have been looking up at space and the stars for a long time, have seen what we're seeing here to the left, okay? Because there are huge objects in space bigger than the sun, okay? Now, the Venus is getting its ass blasted here by a huge CME. This is a world record CME. But then again, it makes it lights up space so that we can see objects in space that are way the hell out there, okay? Now, you are seeing what I'm seeing if you're not blind and if you need to clean your glasses and stuff I'm just not I'm you know I wear glasses too for certain things and I can also look at this without glasses too and still see it okay so uh, you will see the total you know not perfectly round but you know that this is a huge and I mean huge I mean the biggest goddamn thing you're ever gonna see in your life okay now I'll show you some photos here in a minute of how far away Mars is from Earth by a perspective of a shot out here in space and how vast these shots are from Soho and Sechi. We love all this military uh, satellite technology that we get to look at now. Is this huge scene? This is a world record. I mean, you know, since we know of keeping track of this stuff since they started the Soho stuff and even before that for NASA, this is a world class CME, okay? And it exposes what we have seen before moving up by the sun at other angles. But now this is more towards, and I basically guess I'll have to go if I got time. But you can also research too and go look at a map. And also I'll hit Wolf and we'll see. But I was looking at interested in Pleiades and stuff like that. Not that it's that damn big, but it's pretty damn big. But the fact that this object to, that you see to the left of the, this is the hugest CME you're ever gonna. See. I mean, this thing is massive, okay, and it's coming at Earth, okay, let me put it that way. That's coming at Earth. There's probably been bigger, this is like an X5 or something like that. I think it's bigger than an M class. I'm not going to get into that right now. I mean, I could be wrong on that. I don't really give a rat's ass. I'm just showing you the f data, the pictures that basically don't lie to you, okay. This is one day on the 6th, okay, and you cannot miss the huge whatever the hell there is as you see this it's not a halo, okay, it's roundness, and then you almost you can see like a third humongous planet or something, or a star here on it, because this is all layers, and I'll show you layers in a minute. Uh, there's looks like a huge round planet right here also if you watch close enough, and probably even more than one if you keep watching this, and it's not that you'll start seeing things, it's just that you'll see what's actually there, okay, because this is all layers. And there's Venus getting its ass kicked, and that's why it's getting so many. And see, that's not an inner camera flare that Venus is doing either. It's protecting itself from with some sort of atmosphere that they have, like Earth has, somewhat in a sense, something. Okay, they're always NASA is always telling us, well, this planet's got nothing close to what the Earth's got, and that, and so forth and so on. Okay, and they constantly say that this huge planet or object, sphere, or coronal protection. That maybe might be part of the meatballs in our back door, because that would be our back door. That would be Earth's back door back here, okay? Left back door, right back door, anyway. Back door, because the sun and the supergiants are over to the right, okay? So we'll go to some more uh, pictures here. Uh, this is a good movie I got here. Let's see what else I can get up. And here's current map for the constellations, anyway, and I'll see if I'll. M45, mass 45, and it's huge, okay? And currently, on your time and everything, right hand corner, central time, you can look always down on my bar in the right hand corner right here, right now, and you'll see the time 4 29 p.m. Okay, so. Now, Pleiades M45 is way the heck out, but this is the other stuff, and I think I've showed you this before, it's out there, okay? three light years away, way the hell out there and everything like that. But remember the vastness that we can see in space with these shots. Because of the massness that we pretty much figure that this is Pleiades, this big seven sisters and stuff that we see up here. Okay, that's what you see there. And I could even blow that to a thousand real fast, I guess. And what's annoying is why is NASA, I mean, wh whoever's got the power to be on this, 
on this Lasco shot, such a shot. Why the heck are they put an earth right over top of it so we don't get a real good view of it? You know, and you can still do it, see it pretty good when you blow it up. Okay, so now that's out our one of our ass back doors at this point. Okay, and as you've seen, there was Mars there, so that you have to understand. Okay, Mars is two years away from Earth if we get out there and travel. Okay, now we have to go a certain route too. I've showed you guys that before. Okay, remember the sun's over here, and the supergiant's getting blocked by that. Okay, so and this is a fresh shot right there. Okay, lower left, you can't miss it. Okay, so now, and this is a size comparison that'll make you realize that. Okay, so I basically went and got that for Venus. Okay, and Venus is magnified 500,000 percent, 500 million percent to just can you make it look at M45. Okay, so here's, here's M45. Okay, so more than likely, folks, that's M45 right there. This huge. Huge M45. I mean, huge. The biggest thing you're ever going to set your flipping eyes on, okay? Unless we find that they show us another huge object out in space. And there's Venus over there. 500 million times smaller than M45 here to the left, okay? And no, folks, Venus is magnified 500 million times, okay? Not M45. Now, folks, I could be wrong, and it maybe it's not M45, but it's something that's flipping that damn huge or bigger. And to show you that basically no matter what, okay, this should be Jupiter, I think, right there. And yeah, that's Jupiter there, okay? And that's where we're sitting at right now, okay? And M45 is there. And you know that you've seen the sun, and I mean, in the Venus, sun hitting Venus. See how damn far? Just to, on looking from an objectable view from Earth, how far apart they are, okay? And then the next closest thing we have right now there to it is Mercury, okay? And yes, this is high, folks. 600 is very high, okay? So, and this is what pretty much everything, blue, red, whatever you get right now, there's all kinds of fragments from the supergiants and the sun right now, okay, flopping through space right now. So, and this is an electrical oscilloscope reading pretty much, and basically we're cross-phasing again right now, okay, and there's some big movement, so more than likely something's banging into the sun or the supergiants. And a lot of this is basically broken up from CME action because it's such a large CME an X5 flare probably or something like that. We'll go up here and we'll know exactly because basically this will tell us. Okay, but let me go down to some more telemetry. And like I showed you that spiking there yesterday. And then this is today very ominous. Okay. But we are going to be fine. We're nice and warm, aren't we? Yes, we're nice and warm because CME action, space, and wind, as I just gave you that solar wind, and let's go to the right here and see all the shots from the sun right now, pretty much, or El Fluego of CME, and basically it'll save me showing you these. And basically you're seeing that CME that basically is coming towards Earthrama. Now, like I say, there's been huge Earth CMEs, but this one's coming towards Earth, okay? So, and I showed you on the graphs before here, too, so this will get kind of boring, honestly, if I show you this. We'll watch the dates. That, yeah, they only go through the 12th, so. And honestly, I think they've probably tried to soften this up so people really don't notice it, but you know that this color hitting Earth right there is a huge CME, and they've made, uh, some, I guess the government must have had somebody take off the, because you could actually see the CMEs. They'd have the black rings coming out, and they would hit Earth. I guess people are probably shitting their pants, probably this, that, or whatever. It's really nothing. It's just going to basically interrupt a lot of radio transmissions and electrical waves, okay? Quite possibly, okay? And then now either they're not wanting to know how we're built bullet-wise twisting through space at more than 66,000 miles an hour. And yes, storm, lunar phase, okay? So the moon would be interesting to watch because more than likely you're going to see some crap hit the moon if you got a telescope or if you get a good view of the moon because we got a nice storm, okay? It's right there, storm, okay? Storm, okay? The moon's in a lunar phase. Uh, ge geomagnetic field is just like all that data I just showed you. Okay, and then basically you want to look up the worldwide magnetosphere. I'm going to go and see if I can pop that up real fast because that will show you some pretty good stuff because basically, and I'm not trying to scare the, I'm not. Basically, everything should be all hunky-dory. It's just that there could be some places that are going to end up, and there you're going to probably weakness for earthquakes, and the Dominican Republic and Cuba and everything like that is getting a lot there in the big gulf. The big gulf out there. East of the Gulf of Mexico, 
pretty much part of it in the Atlantic Ocean. Okay, over here has been getting a lot of action today. Okay, on earthquakes. Okay, and basically it matches up, doesn't it, with the ionosphere and the electrons. Okay. Now we gave you a map of all the big stuff that's out there and the stuff I showed you that you can see with your eyes that's out there and then basically you can see this too and I showed you the photos from the videos yesterday. You see this? There's two huge something there and that's towards the sun because this is B on the back side. Okay? This is This is ahead. This, this is what's coming towards Earth, this huge CME, okay? The world record CME is going to hit us. And it lights up the big meatball in the back door, folks. This is behind Earth all the time. Up towards Uranus, Neptune, and so forth. And so forth. That's why it took us a long time to find those suns that you can find on Worldwide Telescope. If you look there, they had to have certain things move out of the way, okay? This big meatball, M45, and there's other M's, okay? There's M50, M55, and stuff, and there, that one M50 something or 55 is over by the sun, okay? This is a huge, the hugest goddamn thing you're ever going to see in your flipping life, ladies and gentlemen, right there. Because it takes two years to go from Earth to Mars, okay? And we actually got to go a certain roadmap. So this is incredible here, folks, and I was showing you this before, okay? But I think this is a fresher shot on the 6th, okay? Because you know there's two huge objects there, and we know that that's blocking sunlight from the supergiants and the sun. Okay, and I went the wrong way. I apologize. And there's Mercury and Saturn. Okay, It'll pop down real fast, and you'll be knowing that this is what I've been trying to show you. Two huge objects over there, and plus another bunch of big stuff. Cause it's dark up by the sun, and this is behind up by the sun. And more layers, folks, because basically when you're looking at this, hang on, because this is B. Watch, this is B shot, right? This is ahead, so this is the other side of, our, of way out there in space, okay? Because these are on opposite sides of space, and you see the big meatball, okay? The meatball, it's huge right there, left. You see that? You can't miss it. It's right there to the left. Okay, I've been showing you this and showing you this, okay? There's the meatball, huge behind us, right? And you see how huge that CME is from the sun that gets blocked here by the satellite. Arm and solar panels right there, okay? The blocker, okay? The meatball and all the dark bigness is out here behind us, behind Earth, in the deep darkness of space behind Earth, folks. Because the sun and the supergiants are all over here. That's why this Venus and everything is bright on this side, okay? So big darkness stuff out there, okay, in space. And yes, it's layers, but they're letting people know by doing the layers just right to let everybody see. Repeat, Venus is magnified 500 th million times, okay? 500 million times, just to make you be able to see it compared to M45 there. No matter what, the huge CME is so damn huge that that's M45, the darkness that you see, more than likely either that or another one of the M M40 something, 48, M something, okay, that is so goddamn huge that that sun flare is right now going towards Earth. And they don't have Earth. Well, Earth, you're looking at us because that's the constellations all over us. Earth, which is weird, tiny. We're a piss ant. Okay. And that CME is coming towards us and Venus. And this should be Mercury, I think, right there. I'm trying to get it to light up, but it's not doing it. We know that this is Jupiter right there, purple. And they got Venus looking big because the idea that right now to Earth, the sun is very close to Earth in the winter, which it really shouldn't be. We should be at our all-time distance from the sun right now. We're pretty close to it right now. We've moved away from the record closeness, which is a good sign. But then those other supergiant stars are on us. So if you remember all my supergiants information, go to all my videos, you'll find it. And yes, folks, basically everything from the sun right now is going to look like this with all that dust. And basically, and it's huge shit. I mean, I'm not pulling no punches here. It's huge, humongous crap out there, ladies and gentlemen, no matter what. Your kids hear this kind of stuff at school. Don't worry about it. <coughs> I guarantee in the first grade they hear that word. <coughs> it's too bad that they do, but I know they do. Especially your... Okay, and then a huge object here that can bleed through. You can't miss that with your eyeballs. You can see that. And it, me blowing up is just going to look like dots and stuff like that, but you can see the, 
the size of something huge right there by the sun. And then South Carolina, there's a rumor about an alarm at a South Carolina nuclear plant. So, just a rumor. So, check it out.